Are you one of the home brewers out there that use glass carboys to ferment your beer in and are a little frustrated by how hard it is to clean them? Well, if so, you might want to stick around to watch this video. I got a new product here, the Tabonic Brush by Accelerator. It can clean that beer stone out of that headspace in no time. If you want to see more about it, stick around. Hello everyone and welcome back. Larry here again to talk about another way to clean your glass carboys. If you recall, I did a separate video on how to use a different manufacturer's product called the, uh, I think it's called the carboy cleaner, uh, which is uh, on a drill rod attachment that you attach to your drill, you spin it around, it's got these little floppy pads on it that goes into the carboy, spins around in circles and then ends up cleaning the inside of your carboy for you without having to using the uh, carboy brush that uh, is so common out there. And it's hard to get every little spot. It takes a little while to clean, right? Well, this is another one of those types of gadgets, but this is from a different company uh, by Accelerator, the manufacturer of the counterflow chiller uh, that I have also that you may have seen in some of my past videos. And uh, this is their new product called the Turbonic, which is, uh, it works along the same kind of principle. Uh, when you first want to use it, you retract these little tines back into this plastic tube so this plastic tube can fit right inside the, the uh, carboy. And the other end is just the drill rod attachment. So you attach your drill to the end of here and you push it down what's inside the carboy and the little tines come out and you spin your drill around and these little tines actually spread out pretty far uh, depending on how fast you rotate your drill to wipe the inside of your glass carboys. Now, another thing about this, which is unique uh, from the other device I have is that this thing comes with a a garden hose attachment. So you can actually uh, feed water into here and the water will travel down the inside of this blue tube and come out uh, amongst all these tines here. So it'll spray water onto the tines and, in, and into your glass carboy. So as you're spinning it, it's feeding it water, which is kind of cool. Um, it's, it's cool if, if you have a garden hose supply nearby. Uh, unfortunately, the way I brew in the winter time now, is not so easy. I don't have access to a garden hose. Uh, I have to use my kitchen sink, and then, and if I do that, um, I just do without this and just fill up the uh, carboy a little bit with water from the sink itself. Big deal, right? So this thing worked pretty well. Now, um, I did have, I think, one out of four carboys I, I did this on. I know it's a small sample, so forgive me, but uh, three of the four, it worked great. I had one of the four uh, they actually left a tiny little spot of beer stone behind. It was so, probably some sort of imperfection inside the glass on the carboy that had some kind of like a little divot or something where this thing couldn't quite reach. And uh, so in that case, I had to go back to using my carboy cleaner wand um, anyway to get that last spot. I Just how it was, uh, it, could just, it could be a fluke, it could, it could not be. But either way, just to let you know, there are more options out there for cleaning a glass carboy so no more excuses for not using glass carboys. Well, there's other excuses. I mean, they break easy, right? That's a whole nother topic, but, <laughs> but there's no need to go away from, from using glass carboys if your only gripe about them is that they're hard to clean because that's no longer an excuse. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're a new viewer and not yet a subscriber, click that subscribe button and give me that thumbs up if you like this video and, and, and comment below if you have any questions or found it helpful at all in any way and wanna give me your feedback, all right? Okay, y'all take it easy. Uh, Merry Christmas, it's the end of 2020, so there you go. I know I'm dating myself in this video because this video might be viewed five years from now, who knows, whatever, different time, I don't care. You all take care and I'll see you in the next video.